S4 is a STEM outreach programme based in Wales that's been offering hands-on science workshops since 2012. This programme aims to increase access to STEM learning and improves STEM uptake and attainment in those students from traditionally low participation areas in higher education. Young people from disadvantaged areas are still less likely to take up science in school, despite huge investments in Science for All programmes. We are often told that people from more challenged socio-economic backgrounds don't choose subjects like science because they lack high aspirations. This deficit approach underpins many university science outreach schemes. We know students from all backgrounds enjoy science, but this doesn't translate into them being equally likely to choose science in school. Here at S4, we're trying to find out why and how outreach programmes like S4 can help make science accessible to all students. Why do some young people think science is for people like me and some don't? Social scientists came up with the concept of science capital to explain this. Science capital describes the science-related knowledge and exposure a child gains from their daily life. It's a piggy bank of science. It could include knowing a scientist, watching science TV shows, or even being taken to a museum. Science capital is built with science-related experience we have in our daily lives. University outreach programmes aim to build students' science capital through workshops, science festivals and talks, with the hope of widening access to science education. Working with over 5,000 pupils from 2012, Swansea University Science for School schemes has found that for young Welsh people from tough backgrounds, it seems that science capital isn't enough. They understand social differences and are acutely aware of social inequalities and barriers to success. They often also think that science is only for brainy kids. Those who find school tough often think that science is not for people like me. The socio-economic realities of these students' lives can smash their science capital piggy bank. Here at S4, we are working to find out how we can scaffold science capital in the lives of young people from tough backgrounds. We have developed our pedagogic framework around science confidence, which builds on science capital theory. Science confidence seeks to address educational and social inequalities to give pupils from tough backgrounds the confidence and skills they need to seize opportunities to study science. So how are we trying to build science and higher education confidence at S4? Our workshops take place on our university campus in an outreach centre built specifically for school students. Our participants know the S4 classroom is their place on campus. This disrupts the social inequalities they feel in school and creates a space for them to experience science in a higher education environment. Regardless of their school attainment, our students feel rewarded by being part of what they consider a treat for the smart kids. They start to associate our university and its science spaces as a place for them whatever their background. Our interventions take place over several years with the same students. Students come onto campus once a term throughout Key Stage 3 via our programme funded by the European Social Fund and the Welsh Government. The longer the programme, the greater our students' perceived learning and change in science confidence. Our workshops use hands-on accessible activities to provoke science curiosity. We always support our workshops with a high scientist-to-student ratio. This builds self-efficacy nurtures curiosity and brings creativity and discovery back to science learning. And pupils are encouraged to experience failure in their experiments and work around it. What do our student and teacher participants say? By building science confidence, we increase students' engagement with their science education, increase their sense of science citizenship 
and help ensure that students feel that science is an option for people from all backgrounds.